Hello, welcome back to Ho Yang. It's a travel day. Time to get the scooter back. I'm going to get the ticket for the ferry. It's been a good bike this. I enjoyed it. Ko Panyang, lovely island. I had a really good time. Right, let's get the scooter back. It's half eleven now. We'll get the ferries at twelve thirty. It was quite busy last night, like very quite loud. And there's the bike back. So if you want a bike, see Ton. This is the best place to go that I found. Passport back, no problem. Bike was great. Really good tyres, really good brakes. Coco Minecart, have a nice day. Really nice people. They offered to give me a lift to the ferry port. It's there. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's, uh, he was going to show me the building where I get the ticket. Uh, I've got plenty of time, so I said I'll just walk. Thank you. Really, really nice. Uh, I, I wasn't pleased about having to give me a passport, but they made the made it much easier. Bon voyage, Copagna. And I believe you come round here. You get your ticket for Koh Sao and for Koh Samui and get across the road. There you go, straight over the road. Buy tickets, check in. Straight down here. There you go, everywhere. Go PP, Glanta, Carole, Riley. Who cats are a tiny, anywhere you want. Chump one. I think mean, that's where I'll be going after Koh Tao. Back to the mainland. This is what I'm getting, songs are um, 100 baht cheaper. It's not that building for the song term ones. Apparently you come down here, just down the side of it. And there's a couple of ferries in now. Another beautiful day. You wouldn't believe in Koh Samui, in Koh Panyang, how much rain I've had. It's been next to nothing, really nothing. And Phuket was a really big, big washout. There was loads in Phuket. Yeah, it's been brilliant, absolutely awesome the weather. Little bits here and there, but nothing. Rain for half an hour then go away. I think it's done that two or three times. Now this is a Song Term Pier, you can get two boats, one's 500 baht and one's 600 baht. I think one of them is about three quarters of an hour faster. I'm not asked. I'm getting picked up on the other end by me, by the hotel where I'm booked in Koh Tao. So uh, that's nice. It saved me a few quid. Yeah, let's go and get a ticket, 500 baht. Two hours it takes, 12.30 I get there, 2.30. Take get bought at that little office. 500 baht, and one of these is my board. Which one? Nobody knows. Look at the water. The tropical island of Koh Panyang. See you later. I will be back. There's not many people going to court out there. <laughs> There's one guy asleep on the chairs. He probably works here. Yeah, yeah front seat. Oh, can you sit up there? No, I don't think so. Big TV. Get the football on. <laughs> oh, there's one person coming on.
Friday, one o'clock. VIP Richie. <laughs> Hotel did send me a picture of where to meet this man. And I never really took no notice. Well, I can't be far away, can he? Welcome to Kotal. Where you go? <laughs> uh, I'm waiting. Someone's here picking me up. Okay. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Welcome to Cotal, my friend. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Lovely. How are you? Yeah. There's all the prices when you want to leave Cotal. The times and the price of the end. Just me, VIP, VIP Richie. Jungle party, 7th of October. What's the date now? Oh, it's too late for that. Look up. There's the boat in Suratani. Look up. My own little song tail. Oh. I bet he's going to get more passengers from that boat there. There's another boat just coming, the fast one. Long prior. That's definitely where he's gone. Ah, that sucks. <laughs> VIP Richie, no more. <laughs> Twenty-five minutes. I'm still sat here like a pudding. I wish you'd have told me that. Lack of communication again. I would have went and got a drink. That was the Thai national anthem. <laughs> at 8 o'clock in the morning I, uh, I'm sure they could have turned that down a little bit that's what you wake up to at 8 o'clock in the morning but I would just woke up I'll do a hotel review on the Anukum place and my new hotel coming up because I can't stay here you'll soon see Uk Ukatan place A Newcomb place. A new fan. Look at the view. I mean past the building site. <laughs> well that's on the front of the hotel. I thought I'd put this in the hotel review with the travel. Because it's all to do with travel. Getting it, yeah. You're gonna find the hotel. I'm gonna do two reviews. Because I'm stayed I stayed here and I've got a new one. Well, I'm going to. So Anukan, Anukton Place does. You get breakfast in with a price. Well, it was shocking. Uh, I, I was glad I took the camera, but then I was sat at a, I was sat on a table with loads of other people, and I didn't want to disturb it. And it was just an American breakfast with ultra processed sausage, uh, hard hard fried eggs, cold. The bacon was streaky bacon with no bacon. <laughs> so yeah, it wasn't worth doing to be honest with you. I know I ate very, very little. I'll just give you a quick look at the restaurant because there's a lot of people in there now. kitchen and I'm on the second floor
It's one of them key cards. Uh, the cards that you put inside. So everything goes off when you go out, even the fridge, which is annoying. Right, the first thing, it's very dark. There's no natural light apart from coming through the bathroom. Uh, you've got a nice little table there. Bedside cabinets with lamps. The bed was comfy, good night's sleep. Uh, what else have we got? The aircon works well. There's a little fridge there, a little mini fridge. A safe. Uh, they did say that they provided a kettle, but there wasn't one. So I went and asked, and they come and brought me a kettle, so that was good. They do lots of, um, they pick you up from the pier, as you have seen earlier in the vlog. They come and pick me up from the pier, and they drop you off. They'll take you to another hotel. These are all the rules. No, I love rules. <laughs> you break anything, damage a blanket. The bathroom, right. That doesn't work. It's just blocked. It all comes out of the top and just makes a mess. So you just use that hand one and it works all right and it's hot and a good stream. But yeah, that, that, that's a waste of time. The, the bum gun spray, it sprays outwards. So you just get soaked. Everything gets soaked if you do that. The sink, I've been trying to wash where I've had a shave this morning. And as soon as you turn the tap on, it just fills up. The sink fills up and it'll take about half an hour to go down. So every time I try and wash this away, it's going down all the time. Because I don't want to leave a mess, you know what I mean? But what can you do? If I can't get it out, I can't, if I can't drain it, there's nothing I can do. Uh, what else was there? Uh, balcony. Decent enough. It did say with a view. But you've got to really bend your neck to get to the view. <laughs> I mean, hang right out the balcony. I did ask them if they had a room with a view. And they didn't. He pretended to look on the computer. Uh, and it was just no. <laughs> When I looked on booking.com, uh, it said there was like six rooms available still. So I assume none of them have got a view. The biggest thing for me, why I moved on, was the Wi-Fi is non-existent. It's absolutely shockingly bad. Uh, when it works at all, uh, from 10 o'clock last night till now, 10 o'clock in the morning, it hasn't worked. So it just hasn't been on. I went down and had a word with him. And uh, he said, did you have a good stay? I said, your Wi-Fi doesn't work. He said, oh, we provide it free. I said, no, I said, it doesn't work. <laughs> uh, you, you, it's no good to just say that you provide it free. I mean, you advertise it on the, on, the, on the booking site and it doesn't work, you know, so it, it's, it's not free, it's just not available. So just take it off. And one more thing, he didn't seem pleased about that. I was just telling him, I was giving him feedback. It, it, to tell him how we take it. And the other thing was the Thai National Anthem, which I totally respect, you know, good on them, but at full volume with a speaker that's bass is completely blown. So it just, it sounds mental like tinny. And it was extremely loud. I've never heard nothing like it. I've been a lot of places where the Thai National Anthem plays at eight o'clock and it's always like a normal level, the noise and not tinny at all. It was, that was really, really bad. Well, yeah, it is what it is. I'm moving on. We'll get on the next property. The owner of the hotel seen me walking over the camera earlier. I could see the look on his face, he was mortified because I'd already highlighted the problems to him. And as I was coming out then, I handed the key in. He said, oh, now the Wi-Fi is working. Uh, <laughs> yeah, of course it is, mate because he's just watching me talking to the camera. But yeah, like I say, it is what it is. I've got my bags back, on my back, and I'm away. It's mildly annoying, but I don't let it bother me. That's why I just book for one night. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You turn it off, you move on to the next place. It can't it is you. You can't let it bother you. These things happen, you know. I went to this place last night, the corner restaurant, and it is really, really good really good and really nice girl that owns it cooks the food 
Thai food and tacos. What more do you want? <laughs> like I say, that place that I've just think I said earlier in the vlog, it's 25 minute walk into the pier. And this one I'm getting a bit closer. It's about a 10 minute walk from there. So I should be about 15 minutes from the pier. I'll show you when we get there. Oh, another thing about that last place, I forgot to mention the TV. That just never worked. It worked, but you couldn't get cable channels on it. You couldn't get any satellite channels on it. It was just a waste of time, to be honest. I'm not bothered about the TV. Normally, I wouldn't be bothered if I could use my laptop and study what's going on in Cortel. But then I couldn't even do that with the Wi-Fi. So yeah, the TV, no good. <laughs> I mean, this place hasn't even got a TV, but I don't mind. Uh, I've already checked the Wi-Fi. I've been up here this morning, as soon as I got up. I researched it on Google Maps. Looked at all the reviews. Come up and seen it myself. Tested the Wi-Fi. It's just sometimes that's what you got to do. Now we are at the Kotau Toscara. I'll put all the locations in the description. I don't know if you can see that over the road. Just over there on top of the wall is a turtle, turtle's back with a dragon's head. <laughs> it's a weird one. Right, the, tur the Cortel Toscana. Very nice, very nice little place. This is the, the terrace out the front next to the road, obviously. There's a nice little seating area with a bar. Tea and coffee. Oh, I'm gonna leave my bags there. Look out. There's a nice lady on the first. Hello. Hello, welcome. <laughs> welcome to Scana. Walking through and there's all your rooms with a balcony. I'm up on that one up there. Walk straight through. The swimming pool out the back. I don't often use the swimming pools because like chlorine and things like that. I used them a couple of times when I first come here. In Ko Chang, where have you? and my eyes were stinging. That's what it is, the chlorine. So I'm not really that keen. But it's nice, if you do want to use it. Little seating area. It does look a bit grimy. If you look between the tiles. Look at the view. Amazing view. Oh, I don't know what that is. Big red dragon. Pink. Pinky red. Probably something to do with the dragons on the island, isn't it? The turtle's head with the dragon. I'll have to find out. Shower. Toilet. Nice. Funny. I'll get up to the room. There was another thing about the other place as well. You come with these things when you think of them when you're afterwards. There was nowhere to put your clothes. There was no wardrobe, clothes, anything, anywhere to put your clothes. I'm just on the first floor. Well, there's only one floor anyway. 
Again, beautiful view. There's no numbers on the doors. That was a bit awkward when she gave me the key. I'm like, oh, which door is it? <laughs> Already put all the lights on. Toilet straight in there. Boom gun. It's got a good uh, drainage on the sink. After the last one, I checked it. Shower. Uh, it's not very strong, powerful, but it's warm, so it, it does the job. You know, as long as it does the job, that's the main thing. But yeah, it could be could be more powerful. Bed is very comfy, very soft. Pillars are lovely. Big massive wardrobe. Maybe it's could have done with a couple more coat hangers. No more now, no. But big wardrobe. Work desk. Computer's working away there after losing out last night. Uh, big fridge. Great. Not just a mini fridge. Aircon works great. Lovely. <laughs> plenty of lights. Plenty of daylight coming in, even though there is the tree there. And big balcony. It's nice with the trees outside. Yeah. So it's alright. The upload speed could be faster. That's my only problem. The download speed's great. It's over 100 megabits. Um, that's really fast. But the upload, that, that's a bit of a pain when I'm uploading videos for YouTube. But it's a couple of days. A couple of days on here and it does work. So oh, I've only booked it for one night. But uh, I'll see how it goes. And then, uh, There's plenty of rooms available. I checked on, book, on Agoda. That's where you got to book this or go on Agoda. They don't do on booking.com. And this room was 13 pounds a night that's about 16 dollars us and about 600 baht and the other one was 700 baht which is about 15 pound 50 19 dollars so yeah i much prefer this one and like i say it's got no tv but and the last one never had no tv either basically <laughs> and as long as i can watch things on my laptop and i can study and See what's going on in Kotao, find out where to go. I'm already on it now. And then I can get a couple of days and then we'll get back to the mainland and start proper travelling. Thanks for joining me. I hope you found this interesting. Travel day, a couple of hotels. And then I hope you can join me in the next one. Have a good day.